the one I started with is the idea that the South China Sea is a vital shipping lane and that China might in some way disrupt it. The whole idea of vital shipping lanes is really economically nonsensical. Uh, it's certainly convenient to have the fastest and cheapest route, but there's always a long way around. Uh, if you couldn't get through the Straits of Malacca, for example, you could go through the Sunda Strait. In the unlikely event that that way was blocked, you could go around the south of Australia, and while that would add to shipping costs, uh, it would be a small amount. We saw in the mid-20th century, the Suez Canal, which was then really vital, was blocked for years. People had to go around the Cape of Good Hope, but it had no really economic effect. Related to this is, is the US insistence on freedom of navigation for, for naval for warships. Now, there's a well-established agreement on freedom of the seas that uh, ships can make innocent passage uh, through uh, economic zones. Uh, there isn't any such agreement about warships. Uh, the uh, UN Council of War of the Sea is kind of ambiguous on it. Of course, the US, while it's signed, it hasn't ratified that agreement. Uh, so it's really, again, the US being unwilling to concede uh, a point which is essentially symbolic because uh, when you look at the balance of forces, it would be very difficult to sustain that uh, freedom of navigation if, if China really decided to uh, take military action against it.